And welcome back, everybody, to our Subnautica Chronicle. I am Aesop Grimm. Get the timer started right now, but I'm going to immediately pause it. And that's because I'm going to go ahead and transit out to the Lost River. I think I've got all the parts on me that I need. Most everything else I should be able to find out there. But, uh... Head out this way, and I will. Online. I will put you guys on pause right now. All right, welcome back, everybody. Uh, the reason I just kind of laughed there is because I have now learned that uh, you can totally cook your sea moth. I left it parked over a heat vent, and that thing was turning red and starting to lose health. <laughs> I just uh, pilloried my base here of glass and some of the reinforcements and I grabbed a gel sack which I'm gonna need and now I'm gonna head over here to our base where I'm gonna make a fabricator and um, put in I think a whatchamacallit vehicle customization bay or whatever it is okay so I think I want the fabricator to go right here why don't you want to go there? Oh, come on. Okay. There we go. And then I need to make this. So I need rubies. But first I need to store some stuff. Looks like I have a ruby here, so I can make one arrow shell. Okay, now exit here. I want to deconstruct this and put this up instead. Strength is at 11.4. What's that like? Yeah. Looks nice. I'd like to keep it. And then... Uh, I think it's over here. No, it's here. I need three titanium. I only have two. here okay and I'm just gonna go ahead and make this Seamoth torpedo system as the last as I looked at the other options and I thought well this one seems like the best for my last last thingamajig now, do I have to load torpedoes? Where is this torpedo system? Down there on the bottom. Right there, I think. I'm not, I'm not sure though, that could be the power cell. Looks to me like that would more likely be the power cell. Okay, now, I get in here. All systems online. And I, I 
I think maybe because I don't have any torpedoes, it's not selectable. Vortex, gravity distortion, toxic gas, which we would need a ga gas pod for. Okay. Anywho, I will get the, to that, I guess, kind of later. Right now... Right now, I want to know... Theoretically... Just theoretically. Okay, hold on. This is evidently going to take a little bit of doing. Um... what I've got in mind. It's a real pain in the neck when you have to keep running back for minutes. The gold back. I don't even remember what I brought that chip out for. I think it was for the water filtration. I need lithium? Another lithium. Yes, I do. No. Okay, I'm at 18.4 now, doggone it. Just out of curiosity, can I put another moon pool? La la la. Yeah, it'll fit. Will fit, okay. The problem... I'm going to put you guys on pause because I need to think about what I want to do here. Yeah, I'm going to put you guys on pause. Alright guys, welcome back. Let me get my timer going again, then I'll show you what I've done. Okay, this is where our entry hatch was. I went ahead and decided to do the same thing that I did with the last base. I took that away and I'll just enter and exit via the moon pool. Okay, so I moved my fabricator over here. I moved, I put two lockers up right here. And right here, I'm going to put the water filtration. So I need copper wire, aerogel, and three titanium. To make aerogel, I need a gel sack and a ruby. And I don't think I have... Do I have two copper? I do. So we can make that right now. Put it into this locker for now and grab the three titanium I'm gonna need. One, two, three. Drop that, that locker. And what I'm gonna go do now is grab a gel sack over from the, um, the outgrow bed over here by the scanner room. And I'm gonna get a ruby. So I will put you guys on pause again. Now. Okay, welcome back guys. That didn't take very long. Aerogel now. And then... Oops. But... 
water filtration device up. Okay. And that can start ramping its way up. Um, so this is going to be our production level. Vital signs stabilizing. I do want to go ahead and put... I don't want to do that yet. I want more of this, so I need lithium. I want to need lithium and titanium. And not there. Let's go up a level. This is going to be our grow bedroom. So one, two, three, four. That's way more than enough, so I might be able to do some other things up here. I'm comfortable with two. But we'll just see what I do with it. I haven't totally decided. I probably will put four. Um, I want to put one of these right here and right here. So that's going to be two. Three, four, five, six. Okay. So six times three is 18. So I need 18 lithium and I need, or uh, titanium and I need six lithium. How much titanium do I have? One, two, three, five. So I need 13 more. Oh, that's not gonna come easy though. I need Grim. I need to get Grim back down here. can get at least one more. But I'll need a lithium. Okay. So I'm going to go looking for a lithium. I'll put you guys on pause. Alright, welcome back, guys. I have gotten the lithium. I went over to the scanner room and activated it to track lithium. I had to actually restock the... Uh, bioreactor okay and I should be able to put one more of these up yeah that brings me a whole strength of 25.4 so I think I have uh, glass over here Two. Two glass. So. Let's. Oh, where are you at? Here you are. Glass there. Glass there. Okay, we're at 21.9. I'm going to put wall lockers across that, I guess. And I may end up removing the glass from here and put more wall lockers across here. I just don't know if I'll need them or not. Uh, right here is going to be a second moon pool. To park Grim at. Although I gotta be honest, you could easily get away just with using one. Really could. Uh, container not empty. Let's let's um. Go ahead and do that. I guess. I'm not gonna put a second moon up. I don't need it. It's overkill. got way more power than we need it looks like for right now let's go ahead and put the hatch back in I need quartz and two titanium do I have it let's 
quartz to titanium. lockers in there. Spadefish. Reginald. I'll just park Grim like right here or something. We can charge him up as needed. It just seems like overkill to have the two moon pools. Okay, that probably means deconstruct this and this. Put the ladders here. Oh, fine. Down. Okay. Um, what do I need to do now? I've made this, I've made this. Got scanner room sitting over there waiting to be put over here. I could do that. I need two enameled glass for that if I really want to do it. I should be good to go on this stuff mostly. I, I will put exterior grow beds. Um, right now I don't think I need any of this. It might be nice to have at least this. I do want these. Uh, I wanted to put this. That's what the wiring kit was for. But I don't have anything for the copper wire now. I would need a couple copper. Oh, I have a couple copper. Here's the wiring kit. Okay. And then the titanium, which I think I'm out of. I am. Okay. Let's store this stuff. Okay, what I am going to do now then is head back to the main base. And, and ba I need to get Grim. Oh, that's right. Okay, well, this is going to be adventurous. Let's create a save point because I want to try and make it on just the oxygen I have I don't know if that's possible or not so that I can keep the sea moth down here gotta go this way And if I can't do this, then what I'm going to... Oh, you know what? Uh, knucklehead, I need to grab my... The sea glide. If I can't do this, though, then what I want to do is take the sea moth, like, it roughly halfway, like, probably to the exterior, to, to, to the, uh, blah, 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 the cave entrance. And then make the swim from there. None of that. Got plenty of space, so grab this and this. I think I need the decoy.
56% power on the Sea Glide, and I've got batteries on me. Okay, I am where I thought I was. I really kind of don't know if this is going to work. This might have been kind of a lame idea. You ever, uh, you ever go do one of those things where you were sort of initially skeptical, you're kind of iffy about it, but talked it over with some friends or you thought it over yourself or whatever and you thought, ah, oh, I think I can do this. And you kind of convinced yourself, yeah, I think I can do this. And then you went and started whatever it was and as soon as you were kind of at the beginning of that process, really thought, maybe I should not have done this. But it's not a sure thing. You might make it. Like, this feels like I might make it still. I don't know. Ugh. Yeah. I really don't know. Uh, 600 meters down. lost track of the okay there's the habitat there's the squid crab uh, can't really make any mistakes here I, I think it's this way Oh, dude, did I get turned around? No. Okay, so we need to be headed north. Up. We're out in ocean. Alright. 300 meters down. Work, rebreather. I really need you to work. 12 seconds left, 200 meters, Oxygen. 9 seconds, 21% battery, oh, 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 oh boo, <laughs> alright, well, I feel like that's something that could actually be accomplished if I was a little more efficient in my pathing you died <laughs> did I lose any materials though I don't think I had anything on me that I could lose so let's just grab Grim oh I'm back at the normal base ah eh, just uh let's just load it back up yes quit One day, 13 hours, four minutes. And see how much non, like off screen time that I've spent building bases and messing around. And because I take a long time sometimes to build a base, I'm still sort of new at it. So I have to do it and then redo it and then take it down again. It's, oh, it was four inches too, too much to the left. 
you know, and then take everything down and redo it again and stuff like Power that. Restored. So. All primary systems online. All right. All systems online. So we're going to get Grim. I'm going to basically park the sea moth right outside the cave entrance, I believe. Pretty close to where we, uh, where the Degasi habitat is. That's the area I'm talking about. From there, I'm certain I can take the sea glide and get back to main base. I think uh, if it'll allow for enough letters, because we're close to the alien disease research facility, uh, I'm going to call this FOB Corona. Yeah, there's our friends, Warpers. Now I got. missed me. That was three close misses there. Alright, open ocean. I'm gonna park us right here. That'll kind of give me a target to run to for the um Grim. Stabilizing. Okay, well we're we're gonna make this trip. There's there's not gonna be anything that stops us here, so I'm gonna go ahead and put you guys on pause. Okay, and we're back come up here and grab some wa marble melons. I keep wanting to call them wa watermelons. Come on. Okay. 
take these two seeds with me. Oh. What are you doing in here? You should not be in here. You are not welcome. Alright. Grab both these waters. Where's Grim? Oh, Grim's down there. Okay. I also swapped out batteries on the uh, Sea Glide. Alrighty, so I'm going to put you on pause again. Alright guys, we have made it with Grim. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is probably create a save point. And uh, we're going to go get the Seamoth. Which is this way. Yeah, but I exit over here. Grim is parked and recharging. Um, coming back all the way from FOB links, it uh, brought him down to about 73% battery power, so he needs to recharge. That is maybe... The upside of having two moon pools is if, if they both need recharges, you can get them recharged at the same time. But I, I think once we have this base completed and we're down here, we're not going to, we're not going to be faced with that circumstance very much. Should be able to make this run. It, it'll be kind of close, but we should be able to make it well within what I would call safety margins. I, if I recall, the last time we got out there with about 60 seconds of oxygen left. seconds. It's the warpers. Strafe. Oh yeah, look, that strafe worked. It's crab daddy. We're under 60 seconds, but we're only 200 meters away also. Well, the lights have been on the whole time, so Seamoth is also going to need a charge. Welcome aboard, Captain. 93%, that's not bad. You can get a lead foot when you're driving cars. Your uh, 
foot kind of gets heavy on the accelerator. I'm like that sometimes with my left finger. Well, left and right for strafing that sit on my A and D keys, but with this particular keyboard, I seem to be a little heavy on the left strafe. It's a new keyboard for me. Uh, hey, you guys remember that I'm I'm not monetized, like I'm not even set up for ads yet. Uh, and the reason I say that is because I'm going to tell you some stuff and I don't want you to think that it's a pitch or that I, I'm not being paid anything. This is just my personal opinion. But I got... Um, I started a while ago. I, I got a HyperX set of headphones which I needed because I guess with the shape of my head or something like one side has more curvature than the other and it was causing the previous headphones that I got which I bought two pair of over a I mean they lasted a while they last like a year and I do wear them a lot even for watching TV and stuff um but uh they would break in the same spot over my ear so I decided I needed something with more rigidity to it. Uh, so I saw that HyperX made these headphones with a metal band. And I got them, and I've absolutely loved them. Uh, they have what what I tend to like. I like having an inline amplifier so I can up my volume, control my volume right there on the headphone cable. And I do like cabled headphones for whatever reason, I don't know. Um, and it also, I, I really love having the mute button. So anyway, you get the picture. I really liked my headphones. They're very comfortable on my ears and stuff, you know? They have like a, I don't know if it's real leather or like pleather, but they have those around the ear cups and it makes everything very comfortable. So I decided to stick with HyperX and I ended up getting a mouse and a keyboard. The keyboard is a little bit unorthodox because it doesn't have the numpad. But other than that, uh, these are RGB. And the mouse, I can't seem... I can change its color, but I can't get it to like really rotate through colors very well, but the keyboard gave me that kind of control, where I have kind of a gradient, a multicolor gradient that ripples across, like it's, I think it's called Wave. And anyway, I just wanted to mention that HyperX, I've got a keyboard, a mouse, and a set of headphones from them. I've liked them, you know, um, if you're in the market. It's just one gamer to another. I promise you guys, I'm not. It's not a pitch. I'm not getting paid by HyperX. I, sh I probably should be for making a pitch like that. It's just really my opinion, you know. And I'm saying, if you're looking for new stuff, uh, maybe look up some reviews on on these. I don't know what models I have, but uh, anyway, just thought I'd throw that out there. I've enjoyed them. There we go. Okay, so that's going to charge up. Let's. I think we're over the time limit now. So, uh, basically though, I am in a position where I'm probably going to start tearing down the scanner room and adding on over here instead and building this base up that'll be in the next episode we have both our our um not a cyclops uh prawn suit and our seamoth here so we shouldn't have to do like the next episode shouldn't really be too much pausing or anything i think we can do we can really move forward next episode so again i'm aesop grim thanks for coming by i hope you like what you've seen so far and i will see you in the next episode where this story continues thanks for visiting aesop grim's chronicles 
If you've made it this far in the video, please consider rating, commenting, subscribing, and sharing. I hope to see you in the next episode, and until then, stay shiny.